All right, so I'm going to show you how to limit your FPS using MSI Afterburner. First, we're going to have to download the most recent version. As of this video, it's 2.3.1, I believe. Let me check that. 2.3.1, yep. So just download that, go to the website, uh, open up the zip file, and you're going to launch the uh, just the Afterburner, not the Combustor. Uh, combustor is used for pretty much uh, stressing your graphics. Um, it'll really, really stress it. <laughs> so just install it. Read the uh, end user agreement, uh, you know, because MSI is not responsible for anything that happens. So just agree to that. Continue on. Go through the installation. If you want to uh, read the README file, uh, just select that option, but I never do. So just continue. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go now into the options and we're going to set one option for the on-screen display. Um, so by default, the frame limit isn't enabled, so you're just going to tick it and then you're just going to show it in the on-screen display. And I move it on the top, I like FPS on top, and then I show the temperature and also the GPU usage. It's uh, just a nice. And then uh, for enabling and disabling it, I just set it for F9. You can do whatever you want. Um, now, if this is your first time running MSI Afterburner, just wait a little bit and then a uh, on-screen display driver will appear in your system tray. Uh-huh. Just waiting. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Alright, so open up this bad boy and you're going to go to the uh, wrench icon which is the preferences. Inside there you have your frame limit cap. So I set mine to 25 on my laptop just because I play GTA 4 and other stuff like that and I don't like the access heat buildup. And I'm going to show you a game now. But you can set the frames whatever you want. Uh, on my desktop I usually do 50 because I have an old screen and it's only 60 hertz. Anyway, uh, this is just the in-game recording you'll see here. Um, you can see. Wow, that's loud. Anyway, there you go. 55% usage. And you can see the map. Once you zoom out, you can see the frame rate pop right up. Low GPU usage. Temperatures are okay for my laptop. 